This video will explore alternative techniques used to diagnose digital mass airflow or MAF sensors using a scan tool, digital volt ohm meter or DVOM, and lap scope. The vehicle is a 2001 Chevrolet K2500 with an 8.1 liter Vortec engine. The check engine light is illuminated with a trouble code PO101, which means the MAF sensor frequency signal is not within a predetermined range of the calculated value for more than 8 seconds. The owner also commented the engine power seemed low, especially on acceleration, and its fuel economy had dropped. A snap throttle in the lot was all that was needed to verify the concerns. An obvious slow engine RPM response was noted. Due to the trouble code and symptoms, the diagnosis began at the mass airflow sensor. This digital MAF sensor produces a frequency that changes with the volume of air passing through it. As you can see, the signal it is producing looks to be normal. Through our DVOM, the frequency of the mass airflow at idle is 3.683 kHz. This frequency will vary based on engine size and speed. The GM spec is 2 to 3 kHz depending upon engine size. The 3.6 kHz reading is a little high and has raised some suspicion. This is a sine wave frequency on the lab scope. The pattern looks a little peculiar because it peaks and then a sharp drop before rebounding to another peak and then it has a strange little taper. At times it is difficult to get a feel for what the sensor is doing by just looking at the digital data. Incorporated in many scan tools today is the ability to view traces or graphing scan data. Yes, we repaired this problem by replacing the MAF sensor, but let's take a look at the before and after shots of the scan tool graphing data and you will see why the MAF sensor fixed the problem. This screen shows the short-term fuel trim adjustment when the old sensor was slow and lacking change. With the new sensor installed, you can see the short-term fuel adjustment is now very active and looks normal. Is this a defined way to determine a defective digital mass airflow sensor? Well, the jury is still out on this one. As opportunities arise, we will be looking at this again in the future. We would love to hear your comments and experiences on similar problems. Now let's take a look at the snap throttle differences. Notice how different the MAF Hertz traces are. A test drive with a new sensor confirms the repair.